So one of the best ways to start growing your sales on Etsy is targeting specific products you know are selling well. And there are multiple different niches you can start selling designs for, but you may be stuck in the process of actually how to do that. In today's video, I want to share with you a very easy tool to use that can help you find very quickly what products are in demand right now and how you can actually grow your sales by targeting specific products that are making sales today. I want to share that all with you coming up next. So welcome back to the video, my friends. You're new here. My name is Jay, and on this channel, I teach you how to make income online by creating and selling your products. So if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. All right, so here's the main tool that we're going to use today. It is Insight Factory. The reason why I like utilizing this tool is because this is one of the main ways we're going to find these in-demand products that we can start creating. More specifically, this product brings into the sales count in the last seven days, like in the last week. So we're able to see immediately what this product category has done well in and what specific micro niche we ought to target. And we're definitely focusing on just not best sellers, but those in demand products we know that will drive sales. And so if you want to check out Insight Factory on your own. I make sure to leave all the details down in my description box below for you to test this out on your own and to see if it's best for your print on demand business. All right, so here we are in, in Insight Factory. And before I go anywhere, I like to search up the specific product category I'm selling for. In our case today, we are looking up a Tumblr product. So I'll just simply put in Tumblr here. And when I do this, I like to focus on products that are obviously selling extremely well, but those products that have been recently released as that's going to give me indications of what micro niches I can possibly target here. And I know I'm searching up extremely broad here. So we're just focusing in the Tumblr niche itself. But when you go down a little bit further here, you would see that we have some amazing sales data to let us know this is a great product category to sell in, obviously. So we have the actual search results here that 2.4 million listings are coming up. Again, that's understandable because we're searching up very broad in regards to our category which is just a tumblr we're not focused on, on any micro niche right now we know in the tumblr category things are selling well we have that hot sales signal here and when i go down a little bit further it's showcasing which type of uh, tumblers are doing well again i'm not focusing on you know replicating a design but more so letting this be the launching place for me to find different type of niches in this category that i can start selling so I just want to give you a breakdown of what you see here so you know how to do this yourself. If you're selling any type of products, really the process here is still the same. So we see the thumbnail image of the product itself, which if I click this, it'll go back to the Etsy page of this actual product. I see the sales history in the last seven days. Again, that's the focus that we're driving from today's video because I want to see what has done well and give me that hot red and demand signal that we know to do well for Etsy best selling products. Again, I see if this made a sale in the last 24 hours now this is something huge because it may say today that means it could have made one sale today could have made 45 sales a day but it gives me an immediate sales signal to let me know what has been done in this particular shop with this listing in regards to sales today the view count is here and i like this because it separates the view count from the time it has been released but also what has been done in the last seven days Again, this is highly important because, again, the product may have received a lot of views early on. But again, if it has not received views in the last seven days, then that product is not worth my time. But this is done extremely well. Then the favorite count. And obviously, I see the release date. Now, of course, it's going to give us some more information in regards to tags. I can copy that and integrate that over into my listing here. But again, the overall goal for this initial search is to just find some great micro niches to target and some things we can incorporate into our design. So as I go in a little bit further in in this broad category i can see that this particular birth flower tumbler is doing extremely well here i know it is because number one it shows me that it received 31 sales in the past seven days it has received a sale today and even in the last seven days it has really you know received over a thousand views the favorite number is high as well and it has been released in the last year, which is showing us that this product is something we can design ourselves or at least a niche we can get into where we can design similar products and reach specific people just like this particular listing has. Now, with that being said, I like to go a step further here and open this up into Etsy just to get those keywords we can find other products for. But the cool thing about this is that I can actually do some further research on Insight Factory itself just by highlighting a specific keyword that's doing well. So if I know this is a you know, bride's proposal gift or a 
birth flower, tumbler, what have you, I can go over here and actually click on this and then I can do a whole nother research in regards to this keyword that's being utilized on this product here. And again, it's doing a whole new search for me in regards to this particular niche. So obviously we click on a bird flower cup here. Again, this could be bird flower tumbler. We can change the keyword itself to fit our specific category. But nonetheless, just by simply you know clicking on one of the keywords here for this top product it just generated for us a brand new micro niche research phase we can get into to see if there's opportunity for us to create a birth flower cup or a birth flower tumbler now notice what happens here when we search up this micro niche term here notice how the results for the love of competition drop significantly as opposed to our initial search phrase which is very broad which is tumbler receiving 2.46 million search research results that's the benefit of doing this this strategy of research not more so looking for best seller products but looking for micro niches we can get into even further and start redesigning in our own unique way the overall goal here is that we definitely want to find high demanding products that have low competition and multiple products that selling in this niche are making sales and insight factory give us all of that key detail so here's the power of utilizing a tool like Insight Factory. Here we have a live count of the level of competition. As we said before, 11.4 thousand search results coming up. Very low competitive, you know, uh, numbers here in regards to our obviously large just category search for tumblers. But notice what we still have visible here is that we have a hot sale signal. That means 41 out of the 52 listings on the first page has received at least one sale in the past week. Now it could be five sales, 10 sales, 20 sales, 100 sales. But letting us know that there's a lot of people on the first page received a sale in the last seven days. Again, this tool is great to get immediate feedback of what has been doing well in the past seven days. And if I go down a little bit further, I can see what products have done well. Now, of course, we're searching up a cup. We can easily turn this over to tumblers, but the process is still the same. We will go down further and see what has been doing well in the past seven days and what can we design in our unique way in this new micro niche. Even if I change this over to Tumblr, we will see the same type of digits and data for us to make the best decision possible in regards to our product. And so again, we do the same thing, birth flower Tumblr. We wanna see what things are coming up. Obviously, again, the competition is low compared to what we saw with the large number with Tumblrs here, 3 million search results coming up. Again, we're still receiving that hot sales signal here, and we can go down and confirm, again, 162 sales here, just looking at those that fit into our Tumblr category, 118 here. 87 obviously is there as well 72 go down a little bit further 47 a little bit further here 30 and there's a lot of opportunities we can design and recreate in our own unique way to bring out more designs and again that's the process i would do to find these micro niches to target and redesign yes there's a lot of more opportunities here in regards to finding other product categories to sell in but again we definitely want to follow the top trending products see what they're doing and then rediscover these micro niches to see what we can design ourselves into the space and again the great thing about this is that when we see this large sales count in the last seven days when you click on this with etsy you will see here that we have all this data here letting us know bestseller and again 20 plus people have this in the cart and obviously we can go down here and see the level of reviews left for this product alone 184 specific reviews for this product here obviously we understand that if it has been reviewed at least 184 times it has sold at least that amount and so we know there's a lot of opportunities here we can just look for top selling design trends that we can incorporate into our own unique space so as you can see finding these top trending products is really easy to do with a tool like insight factory and if you want to check this out on your own i'll make sure to leave all the details down in my description box below and check out this next video here of how to actually create these top trending products with tumblers and how you can learn to sell this yourself on etsy and if you like content like this then like the video and subscribe to my channel as always my friends my name is jay and i will see you in the next video